What is going on guys, welcome to Gump's videos. My name is indeed Kyle Gumper, and today I'll be reviewing Speed Racer. So there's a couple things I could say about this movie. Uh, number one, this is the least awful film in the WTF series I've been doing, so take that with a grain of salt. Two, this is easily the more laughably bad film in this entire series I've done. Not the entire film, but parts. And number three, easily the worst CGI in the entire series. Yes, worse than Shark Boy and Lava Girl. And I think this actually might take top five, if not top three, worst CGI in feature film history. I haven't seen all bad CGI films. I'm sorry, I haven't. And I'm talking about live action, not CGI 3D animation, because that would take food fight. That would be food fight easily. No, I'm talking about live action use of CGI. Um, yeah, th that part was painful. So let me, what, on the topic of the CGI, in the first act is when I, I found it the funniest because the dialogue was crap. The way the editing was, was crap because I don't know what this movie's idea was, but there was a lot of green screen use of like people's heads floating right to left while they're talking about races. At first I thought that was funny. The physics of this movie was crap. I know it's based off an anime, but if you're gonna use live action, you have to have some form of realism. Yeah, I'm not saying realism to an extent of like, the Avengers is live action, so it's gotta have some form of realism. No, like they're grounded in a sense where like I can dis uh, suspend my uh, belief. I can be like, okay, that makes sense because of the world they set up. There's not a lot of uh, like setup to this world and like the physics of the cars, they don't really explain that. If this was an animation film, I'll be like, okay, it's animation, but they're trying to tell me this is live action. It's, it's really weird, like how that works. I don't know if it's weird for you guys, but like that's how I see it. If it's animation, you can do these crazy things like, you know when you see an anime or just an animated cartoon, whatever, uh, they have these weird expressions on their faces that you can't do in live action. When you try to do that in a live action film, it throws you off to a point where you're like out of the movie because it doesn't match. So that's what it was like. It was like watching a cartoon, like a legit cartoon put in a live action form. When you're transferring something from animated to live action there's some changes you're gonna have to make that's the sacrifice you can't keep everything and if you do it throws the audience off and that's the major problem with this movie it's trying to be an anime it's trying to stick to its core roots but it's so awful it's it doesn't match it does not match the world what they're setting up and what it looks like going back to that cgi thing i wanted to talk about holy dick the one thing that like made me piss myself laughing was when this kid and a monkey don't even ask me if you haven't seen the movie there's a monkey in the family they treat it like it's uh, this boy's best friend the boy was trying to be the comedic relief but every time i saw him i really really wanted to die inside but like he was on this cart in the villain's lair, but at the time we didn't know he was the villain. And he's going supersonic speeds in the building, knocking people off. And it the CGI, and not only the background, because 90% of this movie has a green screen background. I don't know why, because they could just easily use sets, but they want to use this hyperactive uh, entertainment so they'll like, make it very fast paced. So they decided to make a green screen because you can't really shoot that in live action. They did that. and. The people were CGI as, as well in the background. And let me tell you something. That was probably the funniest, the absolute funniest thing I've ever seen because not only you see CGI people getting knocked on their ass, you see a pile of bodies behind him. And I was like, he just killed like 25 people. No, my bad, at least 50 people. And they're like, oh, comedy, right? Oh, he just killed people, ha, ha, ha. Another thing that they really do with the kid and the monkey, that they're into these really weird karate films and then they do another anime like thing where like that entire background's like shooting lights and stuff like that you know what i mean where it's like a bunch of like red lines white lines and they make it look hyperactive and stuff like that dragon ball z does it like all the time they do that like three times in the film and when i first saw it i was on the ground laughing so so hard. I was like, where did this fucking come from? And it, like all this shit's happening in the first act. So I was not sure what to expect. I saw this movie in 2008, but I remember getting a headache from all the, the flashing lights, the bad CGI, the hyperactiveness and the bad editing. The, my God, the editing is garbage. So I don't remember much from this movie, except it gave me a headache because of the, the bad CGI and all that stuff. So going into this, I was basically blind. That's where the comedy came in. That, that charm of this bad film 
film really, really wore off after the second act because they kept doing the same exact thing. The second time they did the uh, the anime thing where the kid was like messing with the monkey after the karate film, I was like, okay. I mean, it was funny the first time, but now it's just weird because it was weird timing, weird placement. And then they did it again. I was like, okay, okay, we get it. They, they're into these weird cartoons, whatever. And the, the floating heads, every time there was a race, every time they're preparing for a race, every time they're talking about a race, there's floating fucking heads. A good 40% of the movie is floating heads. It was so annoying. I, I think, like, not even half the time, half the time they weren't even speaking English. Subtitles, please. I mean, I'm not gonna probably read it because I don't care, but like, if I actually did give a shit, I would actually like to know what they were saying, but no, there's, I'm not I'm just speaking fucking random languages I don't understand. There's this one thing that this movie had going for it. Uh, I think it was like Racer X. Oh, that reminds me. I got to talk about something uh, <laughs> right after this comment. But whatever it is, uh, he was a guy wearing a mask. It looked like Daredevil. It looked like Ben Affleck in the Daredevil costume. But uh, so that entire time I was like, is that Ben Affleck? It kept like tugging the idea that it was his brother. At first it was so obvious. I'm like, it's his brother. It's his brother. And then even the main character is like, you're my brother. Takes off the mask. I'm like, he looks very similar to his brother. And he's like, you're not my brother. I'm like, <laughs> dodge the bullet there. And at the very end of the movie, the last two minutes of the movie, you could have just rolled the credits. You know what they did? The, the mask guy's partner was like, so when are you gonna tell him that you're his brother? I was like, you were so close. Just got the goddamn movie. You were right there. You were this close to beating a cliche because the entire movie is fucking cliche after cliche and like they're like no we're gonna make this one a tease of a cliche you're like oh you think it's his brother oh we'll take that away i'm like who oh we'll throw it back in your face it's like they think we want shit so they're like oh here you go Ooh, reel it back in and throw it in my face and it's all over my fucking face it's just rubbing it in it's disgusting it was stupid let me get back to the racer thing you really really want to tell me that this guy's name is speed racer First name Speed, last name Racer, and you're wondering why he wants to go fast, and you're wondering why he likes to race. <laughs> How am I supposed to take this seriously? There's times where they're trying to make me feel serious about this film. The death, the sadness, the darkness. I mean, it's not entirely dark, but I mean, like, there's times where they're trying to make it seem like it's serious, and it just fails so bad. Like, you can't tell me the main character's name is Speed Racer. So, if I was a teacher, if there was any teacher out there who had a kid named Speed Racer, and they start complaining about him wanting to race, don't blame the kid, blame the fucking parent. And wh whose last name is Racer? Whose last name is a freaking verb? Whose first name is a verb? A verb and a verb. Like. That really bugged me the entire time when they're like, speed, speed, speed. I'm like, just inject him with some speed and I'll be fine. God damn, that's the entire movie. They injected themselves with heroin. They're like, Wee! let me get into uh, John Goodman's character. At first, they were going with the cliche dad with the like, I don't care, whatever, you know, abandon my kids kind of guy. I was like, oh, we're going to get this cliche. And then they went to a very stereotypical anime dad out of nowhere. He's a wrestler slamming ninjas. What? Like ninjas, ninjas are in this movie. What, what if you want to be an anime, make it an anime. Don't make it live action. I, like I, I, I keep tell, I'm gonna keep talking about this to really nail down my biggest problem with this entire film. It, it wants to be an anime, but it also wants to be live action. You can't be both because anime is the one thing you can't do faithfully and make live action. Prove me wrong, I might not be 100% correct on that. The core of anime that I've seen, at least, I've seen parts of Dragon Ball Z, the one show I finished from beginning to end was FMAB. There is a live action movie on that. I refuse to watch it because FMAB was all about the expressions, was all about the characters, and, and you can't really do those properly in, an, uh, in a live action form. You can, you can get subtle parts right, but it's not gonna be faithful. And Speed Racer, I can't imagine being any better. Like, what happened when you did a live action Dragon Ball Z? It, it made no sense. Like, Goku was completely wrong. Oh my god. Just make it an animation. If you don't want to make it a 2D animation, experiment. Make it 3D for all I care. But you can't make it live action. You can't pretend you can't be live action pretending to be an anime. It's like you're 
you're something and you're pretending that you're something else by pretending to be that other thing. It makes no sense. If you want to be an anime, be an anime. Oh my God. Okay. I'm, I'm done on that topic. Whew, Cause I'm getting really mad. I'm getting really mad on that. The villain, the villain made me laugh at first because, um, I was like, he, is he the villain? Is he the villain? And, and when he did his reveal, I was laughing so hard when he started raging about the history of what's what racing is and like bantering about what the future of racing will be like he's so maniacal and so evil it was so it was like james bond on steroids like in the 60s it's james bond i was hilarious if he had more outbursts like that i would have loved the villain even more but he was just in the background you know gr clenching his fists showing his teeth can you go back to the yelling because that, that was amazing when he was yelling hilarious yeah the the story is very cliche the characters are very cliche in anime format and the, the, the plot twists are crap the cgi is crap the, the comedic relief the kid is crap and this girl this girl that the main character speed likes she almost served no purpose almost zero purpose she was just there so she could fill in for the asian guy and like that was really it and she's weird and like the, the, she they gave her this catchery she said it as a kid and she said it as an adult i'm like ah tie-in right or is that supposed to make me realize that they were the same person all along like i don't know what the point of that was so long story short don't watch this movie. Just don't. This is easily the least uh, awful film I've reviewed on this channel so far. Well, not overall, because that's Ratchet and Clank. But uh, least worst in WTF series uh, terms. So I'm going to give this movie, surprisingly, 1.5 out of 5 stars. Because the, the parts that were funny, they were funny. But that charm wore out so quickly. And the CGI, the editing, everything was just so bad. You, you were this close this close to greatness about making the mask guy not his brother and you, you had two two minutes left two minutes left you couldn't resist could you it's like the writer the entire time he's constipated while writing the script he's like i must make that cliche ah cliche yeah 1.5 out of 5 stars i want to hear your thoughts down below guys what did you think of this movie and if you want me to review any bad movies comment down below because i would love to hear your thoughts guys I have Twitter, Instagram, Gumps underscore videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that crap. Later and goodbye.